Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, case number 61. Here we actually have an ultrasound case. Ultrasound is one of my favorite modalities in musculoskeletal imaging. We have an ultrasound image of the left acromioclavicular joint. And the question that follows this image is, what's the most likely diagnosis? Is this a case of rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, hyperparathyroidism, or septic arthritis? What's the most likely diagnosis here? And if we take a look at the ultrasound, first of all, we see that there is a little bit of, so this here is the uh, distal clavicle. This is the acromion here. Notice that there's more bone formation, right? We have extra, all this is, this hyperechoic surface is the bone, and this is all posterior acoustic shadowing from the bone, right? And we have more bone than we would expect. So these are likely going to be osteophytes, right? Because this is more bone than we would expect at the acromioclavicular joint. It can be tough to discern because we don't have an x-ray, but the fact of the matter is we actually have proliferation of bone in the form of osteophytes. And that's what we're seeing here in the acromioclavicular joint. We also have capsular hypertrophy. All this hypochoic area around the joint capsule is hypertrophy of the AC joint capsule. So the best answer in this case would actually be a case of osteoarthritis. This is a case of just typical classic osteoarthritis in the acromioclavicular joint. If this was a case of rheumatoid arthritis, I'd expect there to be erosions. Marginal erosions are actually loss of bone, not new formation of more bone. And they would happen at both sides of the joint, likely the acromion and the clavicle, we'd have loss of bone. And that can be tough to discern on an ultrasound, but uh, we, we often see that. And we can often see like synovial hypertrophy and panis formation that can occur in rheumatoid arthritis. Hyperparathyroidism can also uh, result in loss of bone, and that would be subchondral. And typically, we'd see that along the distal clavicle. So we'd see osseous resorption or loss of bone along the distal clavicle. Sometimes it can affect the acromion, but more characteristically, it'll involve the distal clavicle uh, in the setting of uh, osseous resorption in the setting of hyperparathyroidism. And septic arthritis, we, there may be a joint effusion. It could be complex. If we put color on it, there may be some hyperemia around the effusion. And you'd see erosions as well, erosions along both sides of the joint, uh, and maybe some soft tissue swelling and sub edema. Uh, those would be findings that we'd expect to see in septic arthritis. But this is a nice case of osteoarthritis where we have proliferation of bone and not loss of bone in this uh, DJD case here. So this here, uh, the arrows are pointing to, you know, the areas of proliferation of new bone formation here and the capsular hypertrophy. So osteoarthritis at the AC joint can actually be one of the first joints involved in the entire body uh, to have osteoarthritis or DJD, right? The AC joint, even uh, patients that are up to 35 years of age. So I'm 41 years old. I may do an x-ray on my shoulder. I may There may be osteophytes and subchondral cystic change at the AC joint that wouldn't be uncommon to see, right? Obviously other, you know, larger joints like, you know, the knee, the hip, you know, we typically expect osteoarthritis to be in patients that are 50 or 60 years old, certainly not 35, right? But in the AC joint, you can get it as early as 35 years of age. On ultrasound, again, you're looking for new bone formation, osteophytes, and capsular hypertrophy along the AC joint capsule. That's in contrast to inflammatory or infectious processes where we get loss of bone, right? Erosions, not new bone. So this was a nice case of osteoarthritis at the AC joint uh, on ultrasound. So please uh, learn from this and please subscribe to our channel. Please support our mission at the MedED page to support and pass on free knowledge to the globe worldwide. Thank you so much for your attention.